increase your tolerance for pleasure, folks. Yeah. Because right? I guarantee you, you all have a really high tolerance for pain. Right? We brag about our pain to each other. Our clients come in to us week after week and month after month, and we swim in pain. But wouldn't you be scandalized if people came in and just started going off on their pleasure? <laughs> but there are laws against that in some states. <laughs> so normal fuzz, then. Normal fuzz. We're going to have normal and abnormal fuzz now. Normal fuzz is a filmy, loose, aerial connective tissue. You know what it looks like. It's thin in depth with omnidirectional fibers limited or no fatty deposition. You will find fatty deposition in filming fat. I find it all the time. Um, but it's n it'll never bulk up the same way the superficial fascia will or the subserosal fascia. Uh, it's often found, it's often, not always, it's often found between superficial fascia and deep, deep and muscle and in many muscular interfaces or anywhere where there's relative movement uh, tendencies and we've seen this demonstrated in the most gorgeous way in the prior films. What good fuzz does? In health, uh, it enables optimal functional range of motion within and between layers. Tom gives, I got to steal this room, I'm going to give you credit for it. This most fabulous uh, demonstration of the Chinese handcuffs. You know those little things you play with when you're a kid and you stick your fingers in and you go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and you can't get them out? So there's the web. So this, this, this filmy fascia has an, a range of motion. It's not so great that your skin drops down and falls around your ankles. This is good. So it locks out at a certain point, at which point you taught me a year or two ago that it then can conduct the forces uh, alternately. Um, so there's some optimal range of motion in it. Uh, diffuses, limits, and redirects vectors of mechanical stress. So, the fuzz does stop you from moving, right? But even when it's normal, because it doesn't have an infinite range of motion, uh, but also it enables movement, because if it, if, it, if it were pathological fuzz, it would disable your motion, right? It's serious here. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> That's what we're going for here. It's not, it's not to have better sex here, it's to have better sex here. Yeah. Right? So that we can enjoy our whole form in a way that's life-giving, that's fulfilling, that, that does enable us to um, feel the pulsing in our spines, that enables us to, uh, to have um, this movement give us pleasure as our birthright. So, and I see this, you know those little batteries when you shake the battery inside of a flashlight? And you go shake it, shake it, shake it, so it's like power things you put in your kit for it. And you don't need a battery because it has like a little magnet in there and it goes through a copper coil and you shake the flashlight and then you turn it on and you have light, right? It's a, it's a way of powering a flashlight. I think we're doing that. Again, we said rank speculation. But how about, I mean, you know, see the birds, they fly from here to South America and back. What about us? Maybe we're part of our system for generating energy in our body. Is it the, move, the movement of that muscle form through the sheathing? Maybe the tendon is it energy generating. I don't know. I'm just thinking about this. <laughs> sensational. I know it's sensational because I feel it. And emotional. How is not our form or representation of our emotional state? It absolutely is. So this all boils down to how you feel about it. And are you willing to go there? So your, your, your use of your body, your, your willingness to move is utterly dependent upon your emotional state. There's not that many people who are willing to do this. <laughs> so you're in a rut. We're in a movement rut in the way that we behave towards one another, aren't we? Because you're going to have me arrested if I keep this up. But the fact of the matter is that the forms of movement that we permit ourselves to demonstrate within are very culturally controlled, aren't they? So that that's not how you act towards people. You know, you just connect with people in a certain way. And if you go outside of the range of motion of normal social interaction, there's a hundred different ways that that's censored in a certain environment. The consequence of that is we don't actually ever experience the range of motion that's available to us when we create weird neural ruts. So we don't 
Dance on the stage. Yeah. <laughs>